What I focus on is plein air, which is the French word for in the open air, and it is a art term for painting outside from life. I like to do everything locally sourced, so the painting I'm going to do today is of a landscape using the actual land. The waterfall spots are really the best for this kind of work. So here I have a little piece of iron oxide shale that I just found in the stream bed. I'm going to crush it using a mortar and pestle. Now we have more of a powdery substance. Next step is to sift it using a little kitchen sifter. And now we have some powdered pigment. So I use the shale rock and then I also use soil. So there's the stone pigments and there's also earth pigments. And it's really that red color that I'm looking for that I can find locally here in the Catskills. The whole purpose of my art is the connection with land and the connection with landscape. And using the pigments is just a way of furthering that connection and that collaboration with the earth and nature and really like the raw source of our existence here as humans. And, you know, I'm really focused on the energy of a place and the pigments is just a way of kind of capturing that energy in a tangible form. It's really interesting to come in as a total outsider and not know anybody. You know, it's a very small town. Tannersville is a very small town. And, you know, people have gotten to know me by seeing me on the side of the road painting. And I couldn't have asked for a better supportive outcome for that. My work is up in most of the shops here on Main Street, Tannersville. I've sold a lot of landscapes to the local hotels, which is a very big marketplace. And a big push for that has been the barn board frames that a lot of my paintings are in. My dad makes the frames. His name is Bill Lanchanton. And these barn board frames come from the old barns on my family's farmland. So these barns are like 1800s, you know, it's very old wood, has a lot of energy locked into them. They just kind of, make the art seem whole and complete. I've really gained a lot of support, which I'm very grateful for. There's just something very special about the Catskills, the art history that's here, the music history that's here. It's a really profound place. Here we are, this is my favorite spot to paint in the Catskills. We're still in Platte Clove. And the reason I like this spot so much is because of the stream and the way the stream is moving and the correlation with the stream and the mountains and I'm really into the water scenes because the whole idea of the stream and the water as a metaphor so the you know the un um, the mystery of, of where the water is going and I really love this dark spot right here and how that just like creates this mystery of you know, disappearing into nothing. I really think that my paintings are supposed to be metaphorical. I'm really into the whole idea of metaphor. It's kind of like a modern take on Hudson River School painting. It's more dark and mysterious and kind of goes along with the times that we live in and society and growing up being my age. And kind of building off of that, it's, that's kind of why I like to paint with the earth and bring it back to that whole primitive essence. Especially nowadays when everyone in my generation is so affected by the media and I feel like it's hard to know what's real and what's not. And this is something that's just very real. 